The Bureau of Steam Engineering was a bureau of the United States Navy, created by the Act of 5 July 1862, receiving some of the duties of the former Bureau of Construction, Equipment and Repair. It became, by the Naval Appropriation Act of 4 June 1920, the Bureau of Engineering, Bung. In 1940 it combined with the Bureau of Construction and Repair Buck and, R and became the Bureau of Ships, Buships. Topic historical background Engineering, both in operating the shipboard machinery and in the design and construction of ships, became critically important with the outbreak of the Civil War. The Navy had to blockade a coastline stretching over 3,000 miles from the Potomac to the Mexican border. It had to support the Army on the rivers, it had to search out and destroy Confederate raiders. For all these purposes, the steam engine and the engineer were indispensable. On the day of battle, steam engines drove the Monitor and the Merrimack, the Kearsarge and the Alabama, as well as the gunboats which supported Grant before Fort Donelson and Vicksburg. In 1862, Congress recognized the importance of engineering by creating the Bureau of Steam Engineering. When Lee surrendered, the United States Navy was the most effective sea power in the world. That position depended upon engineering which, in turn, was based on the skill of Benjamin F. Isherwood, first chief of the Bureau of Steam Engineering. He designed and built engines rugged enough to withstand the shock of combat, as well as ill treatment by poorly trained operating engineers. He also designed and constructed a well-armed cruiser which was faster than any abroad. In addition, American naval leadership rested upon ingenious civilian engineers and inventors such as John Erickson, who designed and built the Monitor. The Navy's first Marine engineer was a civilian appointment in 1836. Congress authorized the establishment of an engineer corps in 1842. The 1862 reorganization gave officers of the engineer corps their own bureau with dedicated billets to avoid competition from construction corps officers naval architects in the separated Bureau of Construction and Repair. In 1864 Congress authorized establishment of a separate United States Naval Academy curriculum for naval constructors and steam engineers, and the Academy offered parallel tracks for cadet midshipmen and cadet engineers. Shipboard commanding officers became uncomfortable with their increasing dependency on the skills and advice of subordinates trained in matters unfamiliar to them, so a common Naval Academy curriculum was re-instituted in 1882, and Engineer Corps officers were merged into the unrestricted line in 1899. Junior Engineer Corps officers qualified for general line duties at sea, and Senior Engineer Corps officers were restricted to shore assignments in their specialties. The restricted line officer concept of engineering duty only Edo was revived in 1916 when the engineer corps officers proved inadequately prepared for the expanded shipbuilding programs of World War I. The Edo designation expanded to include naval architects of the former construction corps when the two corps were merged into the Bureau of Ships in 1940. The consolidation with Bung into Bushships had its origins when USS Anderson, first of the Sims class destroyers to be delivered, was found to be heavier than designed and dangerously top heavy in early 1939. It was determined that an underestimate by Bung of the weight of a new machinery design was responsible, and that Buck and R did not have sufficient authority to detect or correct the error during the design process. Initially, Acting Secretary of the Navy Charles Edison proposed consolidation of the design divisions of the two bureaus. When the bureau chiefs could not agree on how to do this, he replaced both chiefs in September 1939. The consolidation was finally effected by a law passed by Congress on 20 June 1940. Commanding officers Commanding and senior officers of the Bureau of Steam Engineering were 1862–1869 Engineer-in-Chief Benjamin F. Isherwood 1869 to 1873 engineer in chief James Wilson King 1873 to 1877 engineer in chief William W Wood 1878 to 1883 commodore William H Shock 1883 to 1887 commodore Charles H Loring 1888 to 1903 rear admiral George W Melville 
1903–1908 Rear Admiral Charles W. Ray 1908–1908 Rear Admiral John Kennedy Barton 1909–1913 Rear Admiral Hutch I. Cohn 1913–1921 Rear Admiral Robert S. Griffin 1921–1925 Rear Admiral John K. Robison 1925–1928 Rear Admiral John Halligan, Jr. 1928–1931 Rear Admiral Harry E. Yarnell 1931–1935 Rear Admiral Samuel M. Robinson 1935–1939 Rear Admiral Harold G. Bowen, Sr. 1939–1940 Rear Admiral Samuel M. Robinson See also Benjamin F. Isherwood Board of Navy Commissioners Bureau of Ships